Hello everybody, happy Monday, happy April, happy spring. So studies show, whatever that means nowadays, that up to half of us will deal with um, some sort of allergies throughout our lifetime, whether that be a food allergy, an environmental allergy, like a pollen, a grass, cats, dogs, a contact allergy, eczema, asthma, something like that. A lot of us are gonna deal with that, and a lot of us, if not all of you, uh, probably already have had some experience with that. Allergic reactions developed actually to help us expel parasites, so to help get rid of foreign invaders and to be able to tag and remember these things so if they should ever try and invade our bodies again, we can get rid of them uh, efficiently. So the name of the game is expulsion. That's why we'll see things like watery eyes, sneezing, a lot of mucus, um, uh, diarrhea and vomiting, and some food allergies. Really, the body is trying to get things out when this immune system reaction is activated. The problem is now a lot of us and a lot of our systems are reacting to seemingly benign things and causing a lot of this, uh, these reactions that, that cause so much misery in our daily lives. So things like foods, whether this be an, a life-threatening anaphylactic reaction or more of a, a milder sensitivity or hay fever uh, that's happening right now in the springtime with the, the sinuses and all the mucus and all of that fun stuff. Why is our body reacting? So these reactions evolved really early on in our development where something triggered our immune system to tag these things as dangerous, to tag them as a threat. So whenever our bodies encounter them, they react in a way that is trying to get that threat out of the body, is trying to neutralize that reaction. And so this causes, as you know, a lot of inflammation and discomfort in the body as the immune system is activated to get rid of that. And now it freaks out any time that that allergen is nearby, sometimes with more vigor and sensitivity than, uh, than not, and sometimes in people it'll be more sensitive than others. But we have to understand that these reactions evolved to keep us safe. So they evolved to basically freak out if that dangerous intruder comes near our house. It's basically a, a hypervigilant alarm system. So just taking a moment to sort of reframe the perspective of that if you're dealing with allergies now and you're having not so great of a time or next time this happens, just say thank you to your body and realize that it's not trying to make you miserable. It's trying to protect you. Its intentions are good. So now consider this, that our life and our thoughts actually mirror our biology. We are a microcosm of a macrocosm, and our behaviors evolved in a direct parallel to our biology. So thinking of this concept of our immune system being triggered by certain things that it has mislabeled as dangerous, our nervous system also has a similar situation to tag certain situations or energetic stores or patterns that cause or that it's labeled as dangerous, whether this is true or not. A lot of our society now, we've, uh, we've just evolved in a way that we perceive certain things as dangerous. We've had these subconscious ideas built into our psyche that we're walking around, a lot of us, in fear of these situations that trigger our nervous system without actually understanding what they are. So these subconscious tags are actually a combination of our DNA, our neurobiology, and our early childhood experiences, which develop our subconscious mind, and they're stored as traumatic energy patterns in our nervous system. So every time we're exposed to these wounds, we we, we we react. The alarm system goes off and it says like, get away, it's dangerous to go near that, that thought, that emotion, that feeling, that inkling, just shut it down. And this is called uh, in psychology, the terror barrier. And this is why in mindset and growth uh, practices, it's so hard to actually move beyond that, but this is actually where the growth lies. But our nervous systems, just like a allergic reaction, has tagged these situations as dangerous. So whenever we go near them, our body actually physically will react. We'll start to feel anxious. We'll get uncomfortable. Our nervous system will start go, um, going 
and our brains will start telling us all the reasons why we shouldn't go near it, why it won't work, why it's a bad idea. And like I was saying, a lot of us have been conditioned nowadays in our society to not be able to actually tap into our full potential and move to what we're actually capable of based on these fears or allergies that we've had programmed into our psyches from, from day one and beyond. So some modern translations of that are like the idea of quitting your corporate job and starting something new, maybe starting your own business. I have a lot of people who won't want to do that now. And this has also become so evident in the past few years as um, we start to realize that we, a lot of us don't want to spend our lives doing things that we aren't truly passionate about. So how does it feel, the idea of starting something completely your own, maybe starting a new career? Or the knowing that you need to end a relationship or move on from a, a relationship, whether this be romantic, a work relationship, a friendship, um, something like that. Or the idea that you need to, you want to try something new and step completely out of your comfort zone and just move beyond anything that you've ever done before. Everybody has a situation like that. And if not, I invite you to think about something that you wish you had that you don't and ask yourself why you don't have it. And be honest with yourself here and notice just what comes up. I bet it'll be that same feeling that will feel a little bit just, just uncomfortable in your body. And just sit with that for a moment. A lot of us, we don't sit with this discomfort because we've equated it in our nervous systems and our brains have actually equated it to danger. Remember that these situations developed in our nervous system like an allergy, like a hypersensitivity reaction, so we're not going to go near them. <clears throat> we treat them like true allergens. We don't go near the situations that cause us discomfort. But guess what? Unlike an allergy, these situations can cause our nervous systems to revolt, but they will not kill you. And once we move beyond these terror barriers, we can actually experience so much more. We can actually tap into our full potential and achieve what we want because we're not going to be living in this state of fear, of desire. So once we figure out what these tags are, these danger tags, we can go back and reprogram them so we no longer re no longer react because when we are in reaction we are not in power so how do we actually do this we've been taught to recognize when our immune system is reacting um, so like watery eyes sinuses itchiness like we know that those are symptoms of our immune system reacting to something but we've never actually been taught how to identify when our nervous system and our subconscious patterns are reacting to something as a threat so that's what I am going to invite you to do again here. So just return back to that situation a moment ago where I asked you to think about something that causes you discomfort, something to move you closer towards that terror barrier and just hold it in your body for a moment. Go one step deeper here and ask yourself about this situation. What about this situation are you allergic to? What here has your subconscious mind tagged as dangerous? And be brave here and hold this in your body for a few seconds and tune into what this actually feels like, what this discomfort actually feels like. Is your heart beating faster? Do you get a pit in your stomach? Do you have a flutter in your chest? The point right now is just to get familiar with the feeling of discomfort so you can reprogram it. And then as you sit here with this feeling, know in your heart that you are safe. You are safe here. And visualize yourself rooted down deep into the earth. Take one more sip of air in and exhale everything out audibly here and this part is important I want you to take two more deep breaths in through the nose and feel your belly rise underneath your hand put your hand on your belly and just feel your belly actually expand with each breath as this will reprogram the vagus nerve and help 
uh, bring about and activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which will help calm that stress response. And if you keep doing this practice over time, the idea is to be able to identify when these tags of uncertainty or anxiety are coming up, and then deep breathe and calm and relax into them so we can process them and understand that we can basically desensitize this response and move beyond. So I'm going to leave you this with this quote from Eckhart Tolle this week. An emotion is your body's reaction to your mind. Um, hopefully you can ponder that and have a beautiful week and I will see you all shortly.